guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here so today's video is going to be all about my current obsessions my current favorite things things i've been loving for the winter my must-haves whatever you want to call it i am going to be sharing so many different things in today's video i'm going to be talking about my favorite skincare products my favorite makeup products my um, self tanning routine my coffee recipe how i make my coffee every morning my favorite podcast my favorite tv show so many different things so this is going to be a super exciting video in my opinion so today's video is actually extra exciting because it's in collaboration with international delight coffee creamers these are my favorite creamers and I talk about on my channel how obsessed I am with coffee but y'all don't know that every time me and my fiance go to a grocery store we have to pick up a new flavor of creamer so I can't wait to tell you guys about their new campaign it is so cool and so unique and creative so I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about that in a second but thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video so International Delight actually partnered up with a famous astrologer her name is Susan Miller so she could match up a so Zodiac sign to one of their coffee creamer flavors and when I heard about this campaign I was so excited because I don't think you guys have ever heard me talk about this when my parents are actually obsessed with astrology and the zodiac like signs and all that they're always telling me like oh that's because you're a cancer or telling my brother oh that's because you're an aquarius and i'm always hearing about this and i feel like very identified with my cancer self i was born on july 11th definitely let me know what your zodiac sign is if you're into that stuff but i was so excited to see what they were going to partner up cancer with and when i saw that it was french vanilla i screamed because it's so me y'all so every time we go to a grocery store me and my my fiance we literally always have to get a coffee creamer it's such a problem he always goes for the adventurous flavor he's a scorpio he's always choosing all these random flavors and i'm always like let's just get the regular vanilla <laughs> So when I saw that, it was just so funny, but you can actually check your flavor for your zodiac sign and International Delights website. I'll link it down below. But now I'm gonna show you how I make my coffee using my favorite flavor matched to my zodiac sign. So usually whoever wakes up first is in charge of making the coffee for both of us. And today's Saturday and I woke up first because I had a spin class. I like to have very chill mornings. I don't like to rush or anything. And having coffee for us, is like our little tradition we love coffee so much and we just sit at our table and drink it and talk about what we have to do that day and whatever so I woke up I ran our coffee machines and he likes very strong black coffee um, he doesn't really add much to it he just adds our international delight creamer and he got such a good flavor for Scorpio he got amaretto and oh my god I tried it and it's so darn good and then i usually do espresso instead of just regular coffee i had been doing lattes with a lot of milk but they were just too filling so now i just do two shots of espresso on my machine and then i add my creamer one thing about me i need my coffee to be sweet if not i cannot drink it so the french vanilla one is absolutely perfect for that it's a perfect amount of sweetness just depends on the day and the season and my mood but usually that's it and it's just such a cute little tradition that we have i really love that it's always something that i envision like when i was younger just having coffee with my fiance it's the cutest thing and i'm just i love coffee y'all i mean you'll know this if you know me at all i talked about my videos like how much coffee i drank that day or whatever and it's just like one of my favorite things so this partnership was truly so perfect because we are just so obsessed with international delight creamer so definitely check out the link down below to see what your creamer is for your zodiac sign and yeah let's get into the video so my mvp that has really really made such a difference in my skin has been the summer fridays jet lag mask i got this at the end of last year and honestly y'all my skin was really going through it last year something was irritating it it was making me break out and i was not sure what it was i thought it was food so i started eliminating a bunch of things nothing was helping then i thought it was just like a specific product i was using and it turns out i was just really overwhelming my skin i was using a ton of different products every single day so i decided to just do a very minimal skincare routine and it's helped so so much so for moisturizer i use this one every night it's a summer friday's jet lag mask i mean i'm obsessed with it it's 
just so moisturizing so rich and thick but it's just incredible and then for cleanser i've been using this one by ren skincare what is this called the perfect canvas clean jelly oil cleanser this has the coolest freaking texture but i love that it really removes everything it says it removes makeup spf and pollution and i just feel like everything comes out it's almost like a balm cleanser if you are familiar with that but and then i just sometimes use the summer fridays mask but mostly these have been just like my go-to's and not only is it better for my skin but also for my wallet because i'm not spending a ton of money on different skincare products that at the end of the day are going to irritate my skin so i say what's helped me the most is just keeping my skincare super minimal so i have a racer to talk about and no it's not about billy i know billy has been absolutely everywhere and people are like is it worth the hype is it not i was this close to falling into the hype and ordering it but i could not wait for the shipping my i had no racer so i ran to target and i found this one which is very similar to the billy kind of style of racer and it's by a brand called flamingo it was the same price it was nine dollars and honestly y'all i really 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 like it um if it's anything close to billy um let me know i don't really know what the billy one is like but you can get out your local target it gives you a really nice clean close shave and so far so good i really really like it i am surprised i'm not wearing this nail polish today because i've been wearing it truly for the past two months non-stop it's been kind of my winter go-to even though it's like a spring release color so this is my favorite nail polish brand because it is super inexpensive and as you all know probably i use a lot of um gel nail polishes from amazon so when i want like a random color i always go for this brand it's called sinful colors and you can get it at target and at walgreens i'm pretty sure at walmart maybe um so i have this beautiful it's like a grayish purple uh it's the most stunning color and i've been wearing it non-stop i wore it to my engagement pictures i've been wearing it for months now and i can't stop wearing it except for now i try to be festive for valentine's day um so the color is spring fling this is two dollars and honestly y'all it's the prettiest one coat nail polish ever plus the color is absolutely stunning so if you're looking for a good cheap nail polish this one's it so i was having kind of like a struggle with my lashes no mascara that i own was doing it for me they look clumpy and bad and not long so i i knew it was time for a change so i went back to two old favorites so this one actually they're both by maybelline um this one is the maybelline lash sensational and this is such a great mascara it's really lengthening and it separates your lashes but it also doesn't like clump them up i freaking love this mascara i've been buying it for years and then this one is mostly for my bottom lashes because it's a really thin nice curve brush so it fits like right here and um i used to own the waterproof version do not recommend because it's so hard to take off so i just got the regular one this is the colossal um volume express um cat eyes can i read no um incredible incredible mascaras let me zoom you in real quick um i stopped using my grande lash because i ran out and my lashes are still looking pretty darn good um quick update on the lash lift kit from amazon honestly y'all it just it's too much work and i just cannot be bothered i don't have time for that so if you haven't seen that video i'll put the little thumbnail right here but it just wasn't worth it for me so this is really ironic because you should have seen my self tanner this morning i have the brightness all the way up because i mean you can totally see right there i was like wow tomorrow i'm talking about self tanning like my self tanning routine and i'm not self tan so i should probably tan i don't know what i did wrong while i was sleeping but i have the biggest like handprint on my thigh from my hand and then my hand was covered in it and 
it was this whole mess but anyway so I wanted to talk to you about my self tanning routine so this is the self tanner that I use I've tried the San Morris I've tried a Walmart version I've tried a ton of them and honestly this is probably my favorite it's the less like the least streaky one and I love the undertone it's very olivey and it goes really well with my skin not orange at all it's by Sandra Pace, and I actually got mine off Amazon, but you can get it at Ulta, at Sephora, I'm pretty sure, so many places. And I have the Advance one hour, no, I have the <laughs> Self Tan Express one. So, like, depending on how long you leave it, that's how dark it's gonna get. So, for one hour, it's a light tan, for two hours, it's medium, and then for three, it's dark. I leave it overnight. And it gets extra dark so just letting you know but it's a great self tanner i use a little tanning mitt by Sandra pace as well and then for my face last year i was using this which i highly do not recommend that is not what that's meant for so i got the what is this called the isles of paradise self tanning drops and you're supposed to mix this in with a moisturizer they're very concentrated and then you just mix it in and then overnight it develops. So what I do is use it with the Summer Fridays Jet Lab Mask and I add like two or three drops. Um, but I will say it works better with a very like lightweight, almost like gel moisturizer because with this one or with thicker ones, it's very hard to incorporate. So just keep that in mind. But these are pretty good. Um, they can be a little orange though, so I almost wish I would have gone for the medium because I have the dark. But besides that, they're alright. I don't know if I'm going to run out and spend the money again on these anytime soon. But I've had it since November, maybe December. And I use them about like once or twice a week and mine is like right here. So it only like you only need a little bit and it goes a long way. So I think this is going to last me a while. Okay, I have a few hair products. My hair is truly going through it. It has never looked this ugly, but do not fear. I'm getting it done soon. But some products that I've been loving that have made just my hair a little better. Um, this Way Texturizing Hairspray not only smells like heaven, but it's the only hairspray that I found that is not super crunchy or makes my hair super dirty. So I'm pretty sure I got these in like subscription boxes or something like that. So I have like just the sample sizes, but as soon as I run out, I'm definitely running to Sephora and getting the full size because it smells incredible. I love the way wig products smell. I just, I'm not one to spend a ton of money on hair care products, but with this, it's just a game changer. I absolutely have to. So this has been a great find recently this is by Kristen s and it's a clarifying shampoo um, it's a daily cleansing shampoo and it's clarifying shine enhancing high lathering non stripping and it has no fragrance so i really needed something like this because recently especially i've been using so much dry shampoo or products and my hair has really been super oily and there's been so much build up so this has made such a huge difference i use it about like every other time i wash my hair it hasn't made my hair dry or anything like that but it really cleanses my scalp especially so if you're looking for something like this Kristen S has amazing products at Target and they just make such a difference. So I also wanted to mention a few of my favorite podcasts right now. As always, I'm loving The Morning Toast. That is my favorite podcast. I'm such a toaster. Um, Girls Gotta Eat. I'm going to their live show in March and I am just so excited for it. I'm also um, loving Absolutely Not by Heather McMahon. She is so freaking funny. My Fair Murder is an oldie but a goodie. Every time we go on a road trip, we wait and we listen to them and they're so freaking funny. Um, and just like what they're talking about is just horrible but in just such a funny way, it's so weird. And then The Snatchelor is a Bachelor podcast and that's just how I keep up with The Bachelor because I don't have time to waste three hours every week on The Bachelor and I heard it's a horrible season. So that's a really good recap podcast. And then what is the other one? Oh, Mood by Lauren Elizabeth. Really like that one as well. And I also wanted to mention kind of like a few TV shows. I haven't heard anyone talk about this TV show off Netflix. It's called The Messiah. 
incredible show oh my goodness we finished it in like two days because we couldn't stop watching it i cannot stress enough how much you need to watch that tv show right now it's a drama it's a mystery kind of you have no idea what's going on it's very religion heavy so keep that in mind but oh my god the end i was shook like it's just such a good tv show it's off netflix it's called the messiah um so that's a really good one that we've been watching we've also been watching single parents it's very light-hearted like 30 minute episodes and we watch it on hulu and then we've also been watching manifest season two manifest is such a crazy crazy show because the plot and the storyline is just so mind-blowing and insane but the acting is so like soap opera-y so i don't know just wanted to throw that out there i'm pretty sure that's everything we've been watching i've always been watching svu and honestly i don't really watch too many tv shows but those are the ones that like we constantly keep up with and like i said i don't really watch a bachelor but i watch like recaps on youtube and podcasts so those are all the things i've been loving in the winter season um i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you want to see it maybe every month or every season of things i've been loving and using thank you so much to international delight for sponsoring today's video it's such an honor to partner with them i literally use their creamers every single day and my fiance and i literally just every time we go to the store we have to pick up a creamer because we're just so obsessed with coffee and he loves trying different flavors and i just i'm such a vanilla gal i'm sorry but i am so i this partnership was just perfect it was like a match made in heaven literally so thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video i love you guys so 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 much thank you for making all these amazing things happen for me and i'm just so appreciative appreciative Wow, can I speak English now? Um, to y'all, so thank you. I will talk to you guys in the next one.